In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the layout or the structure or skeleton of your thesis, dissertation or research report using the multi-list function, multi-level list function. So firstly, I have put together a few um, arbitrary headings and let's make sure that they get into different levels of headings. So you see here under the paragraph tab, there's a multi-level list button. So click on this function here. But this is not what we want because chapter one is our introduction. So we would like to have the word chapter there. So again, click on this multi-level list. You'll see this one is, is grayed out because we've already made the selection. But here, make sure that you click on the, ne the, next, the button next to it and go to define multi-level list. And if this says less, okay, make sure, or if it says more, just click on it so that you have all the options available here. And here where it says enter formatting for the number, you go and you click chapter. Okay, make sure that it's left indent indented or no, not, and it doesn't have an indent. Um, add one space rather than uh, nothing or a tab character. Make sure this is set for all levels, which it automatically is. And you'll see this is what heading one looks like. It will now say, say chapter one. Let's see what heading two looks like. Let's say 1.13, And Most often we only go to three levels, but if you want to go to four levels, I mean, you can see what this looks like as well or indented left, make sure that there's rather a space than a tab character, unless that's how you prefer it to be. So now we're happy with that and let's click OK. So now here we have, it says chapter one introduction. So let's look for our chapter two. Now we can easily just make it chapter two and uh, chapter three. Very nice. Okay. But now we realize that we still have to have a literature review somewhere in between. So you can easily insert a chapter and just call it, label it heading. So you'll see here, click on this style, chapter one heading. Now let's define the levels of our, our other headings as well. This is a heading two. Okay. Um, also heading two, another heading two. These two are heading threes. Okay, so every time you just define the level and here you can do your typing as you wish in between. So here is a heading two, another heading two, another heading two, but these two are heading threes. Okay, and now if you do your typing um, in between strings associated blah 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 but maybe you want to change the font of these and the style of this and you'll see that this is the define as normal but let's say we want to make this aerial and we want to make it size 12 we want to make it uh, 1.5 spacing then right click on this say update normal to match selection now every time you're going to type in between you'll see that it's going to be in the format and font that you want it to be but same for, th for same for these headings you can either right click and choose modify which will give you lots of options here this is quite a nice way to do it let's say we choose Arial again we want the headings font to be bigger let's keep it at 16 here we want to make sure that it's black or automatic. And here you can even increase the spacing before and after the, the heading or the chapter number. Click OK. And here you'll see that all the chapter numbers or chapter looks was modified. Let's do the same for a level. Oh, I shouldn't do that. For a level three heading. Let's say modify. We want it size 12, we want it black, and we're happy with the spacing before and after. 
not all these headings are modified. Even if you even if you want to um, make it bold, underline, so modify. If you want to make it legal, oh, size 13 may work. And maybe we want to make it, oh no, what is happening there? Let's make it size 13. And we're happy. Perfect. Uh, the bold may work. There you go. Okay, so all, all these level 2 headings look the same, all the level 3 heading look, headings look the same. And now it's easy to just go and insert a table of contents. So we go to References, Table of Contents, you choose your options here, and you insert a table of contents at the start of the document. And again, there's many different ways you can um, customize the table of contents in any way you want to. Again, modify the levels, what you want to make it look like. Um, to f suit your own needs and style. So there you go. I hope it helped. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to um, make a list of figures and a list of tables and a list of appendices. If you found this video helpful, smash the like button. For more useful tips to boost your research experience, subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below this video. If you need a solution to a challenge not yet covered on my channel, Leave a comment in the box below. See you in the next video.